This week marks five years since lava began erupting in the Leilani Estate subdivision in Pune, ultimately claiming more than 700 homes. The eruption also affected scientists and Hawaii Volcanoes National Park. Our Ben Gutierrez reports on the efforts to rebuild. The Jagger Museum here at the summit of Kilauea Volcano holds a lot of memories for a lot of people. But while right now it is shrouded in the fog, pretty soon it will disappear. Another casualty of the 2018 eruption. The Jagger Museum building was constructed in 1927. The Hawaiian Volcano Observatory in 1985. Both are closed after the massive collapse of Halemauma'u Crater at the summit of Kilauea as part of the 2018 eruption. The buildings and the ledge were damaged by daily earthquakes as magma emptied and the caldera settled. Prior to 2018, it was a prime spot to see the activity in Halemauma'u. That was a really unique place to observe the activity because our building was so close to the rim, so you had a clear, unobstructed view of, of lava-like activity. So yeah, I felt like I had the best office on Earth because I could just look out my window uh, and see the active lava lake. Being located so close to the edge of the world's most or one of the world's most active volcanoes had its advantages, also its drawbacks. All that shaking took a toll, and just a month after the eruption began, wall displays and exhibit props, including artist Herb Kane's iconic painting of the fire goddess Pelehonua Mea, were removed from the museum. The buildings were evacuated, as it turns out, forever. These two buildings will be coming down, and then once they're deconstructed, this area will instead be a lot more like its natural native landscape. We're here in the Ironworks building, Hilo Bayfront. This is our temporary facility until the new facilities are built. Matt Patrick and the Hawaiian Volcano Observatory scientists are now more than 30 miles away from the summit at a temporary site awaiting new facilities. They're monitoring Kilauea as best they can, along with Mauna Loa and the other volcanoes in Hawaii, using webcams and an array of scientific sensors monitoring the mountains. But there's a whole room of exhibits and memorabilia from the old building, including a camera melted by hot lava. A remote camera that we put by a lava tube on Puo'o, and the lava kind of oozed out of the lava tube and kind of did a job on the equipment here. The Hawaiian Volcano Observatory received nearly $60 million in eruption disaster relief funding from the federal government. It will use part of that money on two new facilities. One will be new office buildings on the UH Hilo campus. The other is a new field office near the baseball field at the Kilauea Military Reservation, near the summit, but not right at the edge. Both should be complete in about two years. That will allow us to do our field work and keep a close eye on Kilauea Summit. At the summit itself, once the old buildings are gone... A viewing platform, much like the one that's kind of at Jagger now, but the landscaping will be native landscaping. There won't be these big buildings right at the edge of the crater any longer. With a more natural and safer view of an ever-changing landscape. Ben Gutierrez, Hawaii News Now.